Hi, my name is Maria and welcome back to Bix and Victorious. Welcome to the uh, pre-game preview uh, of the Marvel Vixens game against Queensland Firebirds. Now I'm going to read you the uh, the Marvel Vixens 2020 season preview that Sound Cop Supernatural put out. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to read you the key to 2022. Uh, so 2021 uh, will not be looked back on fondly by many Vixen supporters. It was the first time in the history of the sport at a national level in Australia that the reigning premiers backed up a grand final win with a wooden spoon, which is unfortunate, but we did lose like a whole lot of experience in just our attacking end. It was a tough year, that's for sure. Uh, but that is behind them. 2022 is really looking up after winning the Suncorp Team Girls Cup tournament earlier this month. And that wasn't even a full strength team. So I do have confidence getting in, into this 2022 season that we that we can challenge for a top four position. They got some fresh faces and attack in the fence with Kira Austin and Olivia Lewis straight inside. Elevated training partner Randy Samuelson looks like a gun. And most important of all, Liz Watson is back. Can we talk about Hannah Mundy being in the team now? <laughs> And that's the key right and that's the key right there. Putting a shocking twenty twenty one behind them and take the momentum from a great preseason tournament into round one this weekend. Uh we definitely do have to do that. It was definitely a good definitely a great preseason. Um But I no I don't I normally don't like to hold a lot of weight uh from preseasons into a, a regular season. But you can't deny that we do look stronger and that does give me confidence. It's a great list with experience up and down the court, but they'll have to uh, navigate tricky fixture if they want to get back into the top four. So the predicted starting seven is Emily Mannix, a goalkeeper, uh, Joe Weston, a goal defence, Kate Eddy at wing defence, Kate Maloney in centre, Liz Watson in wing attack, Ronnie Samuelson in goal attack, and Mari Kawanda in goal shooter. Very standard. Actually, can we talk about how when uh, Song Cop Super Netball uh, released the teams, they put Joe Weston, they, they named, uh, instead of calling Joe Weston Joe Weston, she called her Joe uh, Watson. <laughs> Very hilarious. That's a pretty formidable lineup right there. And knowing that players like Kira Austin, Liv Lewis, and Hannah Mundy are winning in the ring, and the rings make it all more daunting. Like we we have great players coming in for substitute, and that's a good thing to have. We can rotate players um, when we need to, and we're replacing them with other great players. So I feel like that's a very good variety to have in the team. Emily Mannix will be hoping for a bounce back here, and I don't think anyone would be stunned if she did just that. 21 intercepts, 3 deflections, 20, 41 gains, and 9 defensive rebounds are, are numbers way below par for a player as good as Mannix. Uh, so expect those numbers to rise. You yeah, know, it definitely wasn't Mannix's, uh, Emily Mannix's best year. Um, and I feel like she'll definitely be wanting to do better because she definitely does want that Australian selection. And she only got picked in the development squad and she definitely wants to definitely push up and uh definitely we want to be a better player this season for sure because as, as long as it's a team event you want to get selected for the Australian team and that's definitely something that she is going to be pushing for uh you can't do much better at goal defense than Joe Weston Australian diamonds you know goal defense you know Joe Weston is amazing uh, who just continues to prove herself as one of the best defenders in the world. She looked great at the quad series in the green and gold and and diamond all corners and dominated diamond. Wow. And dominated all all comers at the Suncorp Team Girls Cup. She is phenomenal. Um there's like there's a reason why she gets selected in the Australian team and she just shows that all the time and it's just it's pretty amazing stuff that she does on the court. The jobs are made easier thanks to the long reach 
of wing defense Kate Eddy, easier really okay, uh, who has made herself at home since joining the Vixens two years ago. Few players make it harder for opposition sides to transition out of defense and into attack than Eddy. After a year of playing whatever the coach did to her in 2021, co-captain Kate Maloney will be thrilled to have Litz Watson back along her, alongside her this year. Maloney can do it all, but there's no denying that this team is better when she's wearing the center. Th that is true. Uh, you could see it, especially in the quad series when Maloney was playing wind defense. It's definitely not her. She's a good in mid-court, but she always tries her hardest. But center is definitely where she flourishes the most. You can't deny that at all. The biggest addition of the year, uh, Liz Watson returns after a year off recovering from a foot injury. She is the most important player in the squad and she is the captain of the Australian team, so you know. And if her incredible cross series performance is anything to go by, she looks to be in great touch coming into round one. Can we talk about how she was out all season and her first game back was playing full Australian Diamonds? I find that pretty incredible. Okay, that's not... Definitely not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Rather, it's Rani Samuelson. As we've predicted, or Kira Austin, the goal attack positions are gone from a weakness to a strength for the Vixens this offseason. That is definitely true. That was something we were definitely lacking in the goal circle last season. And we've definitely strengthened it up with, you know, we picked the right players. And we definitely had to shuffle around a few people to get to where it is now. But it's definitely great. Uh, we picked Samson only because she played so well in preseason while Austin set out. Either way, these two are unbelievable talents to have available for selection every week. You're not wrong. And last but not least is Mari Kumwenda. We love Kumwenda. Kumwenda's amazing. Adore her. Love her. Uh, who led the side in goals and points, scored last year and also to knock down 40 super shots. Good for third most in the comp. Kwenda can play both positions incredibly well, but will benefit greatly from having Austin and Samson in the squad to take the focus away from her and keep defenders honest. So round by round, uh, besides a tricky uh, midweek one in the back half of the season, the schedule has come together pretty nicely for the Vixens. Uh, it all begins with two road games against their oldest foes round run in Brisbane against Firebirds. Always great playing at Nissan Arena. Then it's down to Sydney Olympic Park for the Sargent McInnes Cup Clash against the Swifts. Always a good rivalry. Love it. Lo I love a good rivalry. That's, that's what I love about sports. Nothing would say we're back better than returning home to take on the Giants, having knocked off one or both of the biggest rivalries in the opening two rounds. The Fever came come into town next for a Tuesday night clash at John Kane Arena. I'm working, sadly, uh, before the Vixens head back out to Queensland to take on the Lightning. Uh, this three games in a row at home from there with the Thunderbirds, Magpies and Firebirds all heading to Melbourne to take on the Vixens. It's their longest home stand of the season and a crucial run of matches that as they head into a tough stretch. It begins at Ken Roswell Arena against the Giants before they brought a plane to Perth for another Tuesday night match against the Fever, which is a new rivalry. I, this, I, so many rivalries. Uh, but definitely after the grand final in uh, 2020, it's, it's become massive. Uh, the run through last year's top four Top four continues in round 11 uh, when the New South Wales Swifts come to Melbourne and come and comes to an end with the Lightning visiting in round 12. The Adelaide Entertainment Centre will be where they take on Thunderbirds in round 13 before the regular season comes, comes to a close back in Melbourne against Crosstown Rivals Collingwood. That's always a good finisher. Let's be honest. We love the Derby. We love it when... We play. I love it when we play Collingwood because it's such like, it's it's the biggest rivalry in Victoria when it comes to netball. Let's be honest. T 
taking as much momentum into that full game run against the Giants. People Swifts and Lightning uh, will be key for the Vixens if they want to return to the top for this season. So, uh, the predictions. So, I super nipple is that we will finish third. Uh, with arguably the best player on the planet returning. Yeah, no. Liz Watson is the best. Uh, returning to the lineup and two exciting new shooters in the senior squad. There's no doubt this Vixens team will be vastly improved in 2022. I have no doubt in that whatsoever. Uh, but there's still last year's Wooden Spooners and has, and that has to mean something. They have some work to do to improve. They aren't a one-player team. Uh, we're backing them to do just that and they'll be the team no one wants to face come finals. I honestly think we'll finish second, but you know. Um, but yeah, we are playing Queens and Firebirds first up. Uh, we are playing them on Sunday, March at 2pm at Nissan Arena. Now, we do have a pretty good record against them uh, over the last five times we've played against them. We have only lost twice um so it's a little bit it's in our favor but not too much in our favor but i feel like uh the last three won against them was in the team girls cup in earlier this year but i have no doubt that we can definitely pull up a win first round um i feel like we have something to prove and I feel like we want to be uh, winning from the get-go. I feel like that's going to be the intention for the Melbourne Vixens. Uh, it's just to prove that they can win and prove that they know how to win. So that's that's what I think is going to happen. Um, but yeah, if you like this preview, if you want, I'm going to do previews for the rest of the season. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you think the Vixens are going to go and uh yeah give it a thumbs up please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when i upload and hopefully i'll do some reviews post game reviews with mum this season um just this uh this game is free on care this week and it's also too on foxtel if you want to watch it if not there's always the uh, netball app which is like two or three dollars a week i think um but yeah We'll see you in the next video. Bye.